right, so when we do the thorax, the, the bones of the thorax, um, we actually start up here at the top with the hyoid bone. I'm going to get a picture from the side there. A really unusual little bone. It is the only bone of the body that does not articulate with another bone. It's actually buried in muscle there. It is also the one that is oftentimes broken when a person has been strangled. <laughs> okay, so the next structure we're going to look at is called the breastbone. This is called the sternum. There's three parts to the sternum. At the very bottom is the ziphoid process with an X. Then in the middle is the body. And at the top is the manubrium, sort of this pentamer shaped structure is the manubrium of the sternum. Uh, when we take a look at the ribs, one of the things I want you to t pay attention to with the ribs is that they are in fact flat bones, but they curve all the way around and they articulate in the back with the vertebrae. Um, okay, so that there are seven true ribs, if you want to count from the top. Rib one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then there are three false ribs, eight, nine, and ten, and then two floating ribs, 11 and 12. So if we were to ask you if there's a sticker on one of these, you should call it, you know, false rib or floating rib or true rib, and then you should also give the number, please. Um, okay, so the reason these are called different, num different names, like classifications of ribs, is that for the true ribs, they have an articulation. These are called the costal cartilages. They are made of hyaline cartilage, and they articulate through their hyaline cartilage directly with the sternum. Ribs 8, 9, and 10 do not. 8, 9, and 10, what they do is they basically connect with the costal cartilage of rib 7, and that's why they are called false ribs. And then, of course, the floating ribs have no connection. 